how to make a balance connector to power the GoPro Hero 10 Black Bones, that coming up right after this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Ryan. On this channel, we do a lot of tips, tricks, and reviews, mostly drone and photography related. If that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing. It's greatly appreciated. As mentioned in the intro, today we're going to be talking about how to make a balance connector to power your GoPro Hero 10 Black Bones. Uh, you can either make a 4-cell uh, or this 4-cell here, or a 6-cell version, uh, to tr basically power the GoPro off of your balance lead on your drone. So before we go any further, if you do not feel capable of making one of these cables, if it's a little beyond your skill set, uh, just to let you know, we do offer this complete cable in our, on our website. Uh, also, we're on our Etsy store as well. Uh, we'll have links down in the description below for those. So a few things that you're going to need, everything I've got on the table here. Uh, you, it is nice to have a set of helping hands. Uh, also, you'll need a set of needle nose pliers. You're going to either need a four or six cell version of a balance connector. Uh, links for those will be down in the description as well. Uh, you can also obviously uh, power it with a two or three cell. Uh, it's, the uh, process is similar to what we'll be going through today. You are going to need either the original cable that came with your GoPro uh, Hero 10 Blackbones or we do offer this standalone cable on our website as well. Normally it does also have the yellow wire in it as well uh, but I've already taken that out. Uh, all you have to do is lift up the small plastic tab that holds that wire in and slide it out. Uh, so you can see now I just have the black and the red on the cable. Another thing that you should probably have is some heat shrink tubing. This is very small heat shrink tubing. Uh, just a very short length, maybe a quarter inch long is all you will need uh, times two pieces. The next part of this is optional. You can also use a wider heat shrink tubing if you, uh, if you so choose. Uh, this is a 3D printed TPU piece uh, that essentially acts as an insulator for all of the pins in the cable. This also aids you in removing the connector from your balance lead so you're not pulling on these small fragile wires. Now we do have a link below where you can pick up the STL file if you want to print your own down in the description below. And the last two items you will need, you will need a soldering iron and you will need some rosin core solder. Uh, this is uh, 6040 solder. I will leave links down in the description below for this as well. Now this is the pine cell soldering iron. Uh, you can either connect it with a uh, four cell uh, lipo battery pack or you can if you have a beefy enough USB power supply you can just plug it in with a USB-C cable. Hey guys, Ryan from the future here. I just wanted to uh, make note of one reason why I'm, I went ahead and made this video. Uh, if you saw our previous video on how you can power the uh, GoPro Hero 10 Black Bones using the iFlight BEC uh, and then the standard uh, GoPro Black Bones cable, uh, that is uh, one method of powering it, but we got a question saying, hey, can't you just go ahead and power it using just a regular balance lead? Yes, yes, you can. Uh, and that was the biggest reason for making this video. Uh, and this cable does not have a BEC in it. So just remember uh, the way we're making this, uh, both the four and six cell uh, versions of this will have four cell voltage running through it. So that's about 16.8 volts. Uh, compared to this, that only has about five volts coming out into the camera. All right, so today we are going to be soldering up a six cell version and I will put on screen right now the two points that you need to solder to or the two pins that you need to solder to for both a six cell connector and a four cell connector. Now I like to power my six cell um, off of four cell voltage. So basically instead of soldering to the first pin with the ground and the last pin, the seventh pin with the red or the positive, um, we will be uh, doing black on the first pin and red on the fifth pin. Uh, so that'll get you to the 16.8 uh, volts that a regular four cell LiPo battery pack has. Now the reason why I like to do that is if you don't need all that voltage running through those tiny cables, it's best not to. Um, if for some reason you had a crash and wires were ripped out and those were touching, you could obviously do more damage with the higher voltage. Uh, so we, uh, I usually like to just do it at four cell. Now one thing I do also suggest if you are using the 3D printed TPU uh, protector around your balance lead is that you also have a uh, high temp uh, hot glue gun. 
Now the first thing that we need to do uh, is to go ahead and remove the two pins we're going to be soldering to. Again, refer to those charts that I showed you earlier as far as which two pins. Uh, where it's going to be the for the sixth cell, the first and the fifth pin. We do need to remove the way you remove those. You just simply grab onto them with a pair of needle nose pliers. You will have to provide a little bit of force, but make sure you pull it straight out and that pin will come right out. All right, and again, we'll do the same thing on the other pin that needs removed, which is number five, and that's right out. So those two pins are what we're gonna be soldering our wires to. Now this is where your helping hands come into play. Uh, I would suggest going ahead and, uh, if you have any of these rubber tip insulators on your helping hands, uh, go ahead and remove them on one of them. Uh, that is just because that's gonna end up melting. If you uh, try to solder with this pin and those are insulated, it's simply just going to melt. Um, so put your pin in that one and we will put our wire in the other helping hand and we will essentially just line them up to where that exposed portion of wire hits the, ver hits the uh, last portion of the pin. All right, so now we go ahead and just to dab a solder, we'll usually do this. That one's done. All right, so pin goes in. Time to do the red wire. All right, and then again, just a dab of solder. And that is good to go. Now, if you're using a protector, usually it is easier um, to put and feed these two wires through your protector first, but uh, you can go ahead and do it at this point now. And then you go ahead and put on your heat shrink tubing. All right. Once we have this together here, we can go ahead and insert the pins back into the balance connector. Now again, black is the first position and red in this case will be the fifth position. Uh, so just go ahead and get those started. And then we are going to go back to our needle nose pliers and push those in just the rest of the way without, you don't want to break your solder joint. Uh, but just make sure that the pin is back at the same depth that the neighboring pins are. So you have it pushed in all the way. All right, there's that one. And there's that one. Uh, now it's time to go ahead and put your heat shrink tubing on. This just uh, insulates the uh, two contact points, also helps, uh, helps uh, keep those uh, solder joints from breaking. Uh, once those are in place, I suggest uh, you can use your soldering iron to just barely run it on there and heat those up. I usually like to use a heat gun. Now that that's done, we can go ahead and slide our wire somewhat into place. We're not going to go ahead and install it yet because we are going to just shoot a dab of hot glue down into the slot here. And I like to do it on either side just to try not to get, oops, do what I just did there. If you do get hot glue on your wires, it will come off once it's dried. All right, and just pull those through. We'll get that glue off the wires when it's dry. All right, 6L LiPo. We do need our camera. Go ahead and plug this into the balance lead of our LiPo, just like so. And we will go ahead and plug this in. And you'll see we will get a power light. That means the BEC is powered. Go ahead and power it on. 
There we go, and we will start recording, and we are good to go. So one word of warning, we have been selling this cable for quite some time. We have seen some others floating around there on the internet that say that you can plug this in into your camera uh, in either orientation and beware, you might fry your camera, that sort of thing. Uh, we use the appropriate housing, the one that uh, the same one that GoPro uses for our cables. Uh, so you can only install this in one orientation. You're not going to bend your pins and you're not going to be able to insert it in the incorrect orientation and fry your your camera. So that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, consider hitting that thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated. Again, links for all the products used are in the description below. Also, links to this complete cable are down in the description below from our Etsy store and our, uh, our website. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. You can also contact us on our website. We have a Facebook Connect button there at the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, you can reach us that way as well. So that's it. Film safe, fly safe, and bye for now.